Well, you guys got another video here for you now if you're trying to use windows defender and it's not working correctly let me just show you here when we go into settings update and security and we go to windows defender and it says turn on windows defender antivirus we turn on windows defender antivirus and then we get this issue here where the virus and threat protection service is not running. It says the threat service has stopped. Restart now. So we try to restart it and we're getting an error message. And the reason for this is sometimes when you've used an antivirus program previously, i.e. Avast, Bitdefender, uh, all the other types of antivirus programs like Malwarebytes, anti-malware programs, these sometimes disable uh, Windows Defender to stop it interfering uh, with uh, the antivirus program that you're running at that particular time. The problem is, is when you uninstall uh, that antivirus program, you can see there was a VAST on the system. When you uninstall that, sometimes what can happen is uh, the disable Windows Defender stays enabled and you need to remove it. So first off, let's just check the services area. So we're going to go into services and make sure Windows Defender is running OK. So what you want to do is come down to the Windows Defender area. And you can see there's a bunch of them here that you can check. Just make sure everything is running here OK. And you can see here we have got the status on here. Just check these, just pull them open and check OK and make sure everything is running okay. If not, you can always re, uh, rerun these and restart them. You could just double click on these and you could see uh, this one has stopped. And this might have trouble running and you may get this error message and that's because it's been disabled in the registry and we need to check this out. So what we're gonna do is go to Reg Edit Type reg edit in the search box and open up the registry editor. Say yes to the user account control and this will open up the registry editor. Once the registry is opened, what you want to do is start at the very top here, come down to HK local machine. Then we want to go to software. Then we want to come down to where it says policies, Microsoft and then Windows Defender. Inside Windows Defender look on the right hand pane and you may see a disable anti-spyware and it may have a one in it and if it has then that means it's been disabled and you can either just change this to a zero or you can remove this key altogether it's entirely up to you but if you move that to a zero Open up uh, settings, the Windows Defender, turn on, may need to restart the computer. So I'm going to restart this, let's try, there we go, it's now working. And it just needs to install updates, you can see it wants to install some updates here. But generally, that is it fixed. And uh, you would need to obviously go through and install everything else that's on the system. So you can install now. That will go ahead and do this. And this will start to download uh, the updates. You can view the update history here. And that's just going to go ahead and install those for us. And heavy, everything should be OK, hopefully. So we'll just let that install. And while that's updating, I'll just quickly check the group policy editor. So if yours is still not working, you may want to check the uh, group policy editor if you're running Windows 10 Pro and above. So just go down to the search. And we want to type in here GP edit. And then open up the edit group policy. Once you're inside here, you can then go to computer configuration then administrative templates come down to where it says Windows components pull this down here 
and look for Windows Defender. Inside Windows Defender you can see we do have a bunch of Windows Defender items here but we're looking for Windows Defender Antivirus. Once you click on this on the right hand pane here you can see uh, there's a bunch of other settings that you can mess with here. Just make sure that none of these are uh, disabled. So you can see here, turn off Windows Defender Antivirus. If that is uh, configured, then obviously it won't run. So just make sure that none of these policies have been set in place and that will stop you from using Windows Defender. So as you can see here, these are not configured. So I know that they've not been configured. So if you want to disable it, you can configure this. So the update is done. We just need to restart now. So I'm just going to restart. And it will run through a bunch of Windows updates. And these are the updates we've just done. OK, so that's now got to the desktop here. So let's go back and test our Windows Defender to make sure it's working OK. So we're going to go back into settings here. And then we're going to look in uh, Windows Defender. So just click on the Windows Defender here. And you can see now, we open up Windows Defender. So it's actually turned on. And it's going to allow us to go into here. There we go. We're all up and running. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out, guys. I hope this one fixes your problem. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.